Hey guys, so um, a lot of you asked for uh, an explanation on what I'm doing on the Rhythm Changes video. So I'm going to explain it here. Um, it starts, it's, uh, there's a metronome on the 2 and 4 the whole time for the swing time. And uh, I'll play the video and uh, hear the chords that I'm playing because it's not written out, it's not a transcription or anything, it's just uh, uh, improvised. I just played the rhythm changes with the 2 and 4 and those chords came out. So I'm going to explain what those chords are and what bass notes I'm also playing on the rhythm. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I started. No. So five. This is the first chord. And then I play this progression. So that's just chromatic approach notes on the bass line. So like I play this and then this and I just play the chromatic um, approach notes. And I fill them up with uh, diminished chords. That's usually what I'm playing on the bass lines, and then I just get those voicings of a uh, three seven and root, or major with a sixth or with a seventh, right? Minor, diminished, minor, dominant, dominant. progression goes, goes to the fourth step, and then I play this one, it's like a diminished chord, it goes to the fifth on the bass, and I use it as like a inversion of the one, with the fifth on the bass. Right? Yeah, and then I go chromatically again. This time upwards. Yeah. So you can go. You can go. Yeah, and then the second chorus. Actually, I played this. You can see it as a, the F7, and then the bass goes here to the flat 7 and resolves to the third of the one. And you get that progression 3, 6, 2, 5. Then I play as a passing tone, like from um, so it goes. I play this E flat minor seven, which is a moldur, because just to put a chord under that chromatic bass note. 
and it fits the sound. So you get. Now I'm just leaving the voicings down and moving the bass notes so you get different sounds. With the tritone substitutions. Still all on the 3625 of the rhythm changes. And then uh, again the same progression, it goes in fourth step. And I play them A minor 6. Usually it's written or a D7 or an E minor 7. But I play E minor 6 just to bring the sound of the bridge again. And still have the option of making a 2 5 to the G. Just, just to give it the clear sound and to give it more movement for the bass. Yeah, and then he goes uh, again with the tritone substitutions further up on the bridge. So. And you just play the shell voicings, the three sevens. to F and then I play 2 5 of the tritone substitution of F which is B7 so you get to back to the A And then you keep the same progression again, only uh, I use different notes, I, I use the ninth more on this round. And I play all of them as half notes, just to keep the tempo tight, just to also make it clear. And to variate more, because on the other rounds I was playing different rhythms. And here, instead of going here on the second section of the A, I play Moldur. So. really thinking about playing especially those chords those just came in the moment so you just practice on your own all those different variations and you see how how and when to use them I think and uh, also to keep the rhythms swinging and tight and not use too much complicated variations but just play simple that was what I was trying to do Thank you for watching, I hope you uh, understood it a little better.